Hello, my name is Jerry James. Our goal is to build homes that give a lifetime of satisfaction. In order to do that, we're constantly perfecting our manufacturing process. Lately, we've realized that Franklin Homes does a lot of things that other manufacturers don't do. The things we do might look like small things, but all together they add up to home buyer satisfaction. Let me show you some of the things that we do. Many of the little things Franklin does to add value aren't visible in the finished home. However, many others are in plain sight for the buyer to see during a walkthrough. They include track lights over the kitchen sink, recessed fluorescent lights, glass globes instead of plastic, thermopane windows that fold in for easy cleaning, crown moldings everywhere, even in the closets, baseboards in all rooms, quarter-round moldings around vinyl floors, water saver commodes, name brand appliances and components like Ream water heaters, Stanley hinges, Owen Corning insulation, Shaw carpeting, Delta washerless faucets with five-year guarantee, and Coleman furnaces, telephone and wall jacks placed for the convenience of the homeowner. Some other manufacturers might do that, but seldom do they offer a convenient junction box in one place where telephone and cable services can be connected. Franklin offers premium laminate flooring that has all the beauty of hardwood, but remains unmarred much longer. I have in my hand a cigarette. I'm going to put this cigarette out on the flooring to show you how resilient it really is. Looks like new. <laughs> I'm Peter James, President and Head of Manufacturing here at Franklin Home. It might surprise you for me to say that I'm proud that we don't always do things the most efficient way. Not when efficiency means we sacrifice quality. Take carpeting, for instance. Most of our competitors install their carpet right after the floor is built, before the walls are assembled on the house. This means that the walls are assembled on top of the carpet. Also, it means that the production workers inside of the production facility are walking on that carpet during the production process. Here at Franklin Homes, we install our carpeting last. We install it with tack strip, pad, and stretch the carpet in room by room. This is so that the homeowner, when they get the house, the carpeting is fresh. They're the only people that are gonna be walking on it as well as it helps the homeowner if they ever get ready to remove the carpet and install new, the parts are there for them to do that very easily. The one-piece tubs and showers Franklin installs are thicker fiberglass like custom builders would use. The unit is installed the way a custom builder would install it. Other manufacturers attach the shower and tub to the drywall and use a molding to cover the tub edges. It has an added-on look. Franklin fastens tub and showers to the stud walls and then drywall is hung around it. This gives a custom look that indicates quality. The drywall in Franklin Homes is smooth finished. It's a lot quicker to come in and spray walls with plaster to give an orange peel effect. But just try to repair that kind of finish or hang wallpaper on it. Smooth finish is better for future satisfaction. The vinyl siding used by Franklin is a premium material which has a slot for attachment and the brad that attaches it is not driven in all the way so that the siding can move. The reason is that sun beating down on the siding can generate enough heat to cause the siding to expand. If it doesn't have anywhere to go, it bends and ripples. That doesn't happen on a Franklin home because they have several levels of quality control to assure that the attachment of siding allows for expansion. With a Franklin home, quality begins right at the front door. Here's a nice extra that the homeowner will enjoy, a 38 by 80 inch front and rear door. It's really nice for a tall guy like me having plenty of headroom, and it's wonderful when you start moving furniture in and out of the house. Sometimes we use a little bit more materials. It's not a lot of cost, but it sure makes a big difference. 
Take these fasteners, for example. We use screws, staples, and nails in most applications that we use. We install more of these fasteners per square foot than most of our competitors in the manufactured housing industry. I'm sure we use more of them than most custom builders do as well. In a Franklin home, everything is built stronger with more fasteners and better methods. Decking is first glued and then stapled. Side walls are screwed and nailed to the floor. Most other builders use nails or staples only. In addition to nails, Franklin drives three screws between each 16-inch center to fasten the walls to the floor. The OSB sheathing is screwed, glued, and stapled to end walls. OSB sheathing is hung vertically on outer walls and drywall is hung horizontally inside. Their strength complements each other. Franklin builds with rafters that are 2x4 or better. Most of the competition uses 2x2s. 2x4 is much better able to handle downloading like snow and uploading like wind. Franklin uses 2x4 or 2x6 subfascia on sidewall soffits. The competition generally uses 1x4 or 1x6s, which don't withstand wind uploading with the same integrity. Franklin homes are built square. A home built square is stronger and the sections go together better. Building square starts with superior lumber, which is then cut square. Franklin buys number two or better lumber. Two or better is generally straighter, and has fewer knot holes and rough edges than three or better, which is what most of the competition uses. Franklin buys lumber oversized and cuts it in the factory with an automated saw. Only with an automated saw such as this one can lumber be accurately cut on both ends at the same time. It's the only way to be absolutely sure that lumber is square. A great aid to building the home perfectly square is that windows and doors are constructed in jigs to assure that they'll be built square when installed. I want to show you about the difference in our competitors' doors and our doors. If you'll notice, this door is a 78-inch door. This is a, a door like our competitors use. You can see it's a thinner door. It's only 78 inches tall and it has a, a three-piece hinge, and it only has two screws in it, and only two hinges. This is the door we use. You see it's 80 inches tall, full house type length, and this is the hinge we use. Three hinges. I'm gonna show you the benefit of the three mortise hinges on the Franklin interior door. If, if you'll notice, I'm gonna swing on it. Don't try that on one of our competitors' doors. With the door we use, with the three hinges, the door will stay square much longer in the frame than it would otherwise. This is a door you can swing on. This is a door you better not swing on. <laughs> We're absolutely positive that our plumbing won't leak, and we do some things to prove that. We test the plumbing with compressed air, then we ship the compressed air in the home. So when the contractor is setting it up, before he hooks it to the water system, all he has to do is open this valve, and you'll hear the swoosh of the air rushing out, and he knows that when he fills the plumbing lines with water, that they won't leak. That swoosh is the sound of quality plumbing, and you won't hear that from any other manufacturer. There are many differences in the plumbing system of a Franklin home. Franklin installs cutoffs everywhere, under sinks, toilets, and even lines going to the dishwashers. In addition to all that is a main cutoff outside. In an emergency, all water to the home can be easily cut off with a valve underneath the home that can be turned by hand. A city's water system might be 100 pounds per square inch. Only 45 PSI is needed to have very good water pressure in the home. 
Franklin installs a water pressure regulator that holds the pressure down to 45 PSI. That prevents strain on plumbing lines and connections. Don't look for that on other manufactured homes. When water has been cut off and air gets into the plumbing lines, they can rattle and knock when the water is turned back on. It's called air hammer. It's more than a nuisance, it's a stress on the plumbing. To prevent air hammer, Franklin installs an air hammer muffler. Water rushing in pushes the air up into the pipe that has been capped. Then water is cushioned by the trapped air and can continue without knocking into the line that connects, in this case, to the water heater. The same works in reverse with the hot water line. Depending on the design, the home might have more than one air hammer muffler. Most manufacturers' homes will not have this device at all. These CPVC pipes have been capped, even though the caps must later be cut off for making connections to faucets and other appliances. This extra step in an early stage of construction keeps pipes clear of any debris or clogging dust that could later cause a blockage when the water is turned on. Another safeguard against plumbing problems is this piece of scrap vinyl attached over the waste pipe connection where the toilet will be placed. Debris large enough to stop up the waste lines can fall in if left uncovered. These are small but important steps Franklin takes to assure the highly reliable plumbing of a Franklin home. This is a bundle of rock wool or mineral wool that I have taken from the roof of one of our houses. This is what we use to insulate the roof. This is the mineral wool. This is a penny I'm putting in here. This is a Bunsen burner, and I'm going to melt the penny, and the, and the wool is insulating my hand. This is the best blown-in insulation that can be obtained and the roof can have varying amounts according to the temperature zone the home will go to. Walls also can be insulated to the buyer's specification. Marriage walls of the two halves of a double wide are insulated. When the two sections come together, insulation is effectively doubled. This helps with energy efficiency and also offers additional soundproofing. Most of Franklin's competitors fabricate straight-line ductwork. Franklin fabricates ductwork with step-downs. Stepping down increases air pressure to ensure that heated or cooled air reaches both ends of the home. More than that, Franklin carefully caulks all seams to stop leakage and prevent mold in the home and then wraps the ductwork with insulation for maximum efficiency. There's another thing that we do different with our ductwork that the homeowner will notice when they move their furniture in. We either install the registers for the heat duct in the perimeter areas of the floor so that the furniture placements will not be where the registers are, or in this case, we install the heat duct vents overhead. Although there is a moisture barrier to seal the subfloor and a moisture barrier for outer walls, Franklin goes even further to stop moisture and air infiltration. Holes cut for plumbing are sealed with expanding foam. Foam tape is placed on the floor decking where the walls are set so that there is no space between the decking and the bottom of the wall. A foam seal, sort of a gasket, is installed between sections of the home. When the sections come together, there are no gaps for air to infiltrate. An inexpensive fix to potentially serious problems is this ventilation baffle. Blown-in insulation can build up so that it blocks the intake of air from vents located in the eaves of the roof. A ventilation baffle such as Franklin uses is a small cost and an easy installation. But Franklin competitors don't bother 
with this low cost fix. Various ventilation systems are used by various manufacturers to vent hot moist air. This plexiglass model of a house was built to demonstrate the effectiveness of different vents. For demonstration purposes, a small fan is used to create a breeze across the roof. Since air cannot be seen, smoke is used to represent hot, moist air. The smoke shows vividly how effective a vent is at circulating air. This hole cut in the side of the demo house represents an intake vent. For real effectiveness, the ventilation system should pull fresh air in this intake at the same time it is pulling hot air out of the attic space. First, the ventilation system used by Franklin competitors will be shown. The ridge vent is a simple device that only leaves an open slot for hot air to escape. It has no capability to pull the air out. A lot of products we compete against and that other manufacturers are uh, involved with are these ridge line ventilators. The concern with those, a lot of them don't have baffles, so they're not going to draw that hot air and moisture out. There's no baffle to create that negative pressure and draw that air out. You take a look, when I fog up our demo house here, you can see when that wind blows across the ridge line, it's actually pushing the hot air and moisture you're trying to alleviate back down in the attic. The stuff you're trying to pull out, it's pushing right back down in there. Another ridge vent used by Franklin competitors is again only a slot which has no capability to pull the air out of the attic. Another ridge line ventilation product similar to the last one, again you see no baffle, you have the same concern, you got wind blowing across your roof line and pushing that hot air and moisture you're trying to alleviate back down in there. When the hot air and moisture you're trying to alleviate is getting pushed down in there, it's making your insulation lose its R value by compressing it. You're having the issue of rotting your decking and your wood. So there's all kind of destructive things happening when that hot air and moisture aren't pulled out like they're supposed to be. This commonly used system is called a static vent. It is more efficient than the ridge vents, but just as the name static vent implies, it has no moving parts to pull air through the attic from the intake vents. A lot of manufacturers uh, will also use a static vent, which again will, will pull some air, but not to the degree that the Whirlybird system that Franklin uses will. You can see from your intake, that's what that's supposed to simulate. You're getting air pushed back down in there. You're having an, almost a reverse effect of what you need to draw that hot air and moisture out. This is the Lamanco Whirlybird system that Franklin uses. You can see from the dramatization how it's literally sucking that cool, dry air in your intake, flushing that hot, moist air out, doing the job for the homeowner that it needs to do uh, to keep their heating and cooling system from working overtime and to prolong the life of their building products, their insulation, their paint, their wood, everything. This particular product comes with a lifetime warranty. As long as the structure is standing, we'll stand behind it. Uh, it's Dade County approved, so it'll withstand winds of up to 147 miles an hour, which has been an issue lately, particularly down in the, on the coast. It has a two ball bearing system, upper and lower, with a lubricant ultrasonically sealed in them, so you'll never have the issue with squeaking or not turning. Only the Lamanco Whirlybird turbine vent can effectively pull air through the intake vent and eliminate it from the attic, which gives constant circulation. Some of the additional steps that we take could be done by other manufacturers, but they don't have the equipment to do it efficiently like we do. Every double wide home is put together here in this bay so that we know it will fit when it gets to the customer's site. The setup people always like to get a Franklin home because they know it's going to go together properly on site. Some of the little things Franklin does are actually quite big and impressive. They have built into their factory a huge bay into which both sections of a double wide home can be pulled. This is for the purpose of pre-assembling the home before it leaves the factory. It's a specialized system that is the ultimate in quality control. Franklin knows before the home ever reaches its destination 
that will go together properly on site because it has already been together. Using cranes and hoists and dollies, Franklin can put together a home in about an hour. No competitor known to Franklin goes this far to control the quality of the homes they build. This home has just been put together and leveled. We've moved it apart slightly so that we can show you some of the things we do to help the setup contractor when he gets it on site. Once we get the home set up and leveled, we make marks across the wall, like you see here. And you can see back here in this, these openings. So all a contractor has to do when he gets it on site is just line these marks up, and he knows that the openings will all be aligned. And the roof will be aligned, and the floors will be aligned. Most builders are satisfied to build to HUD standards. Not Franklin. They build better than that. HUD code specifies that fasteners be used every eight inches in floor decking. Franklin uses an automated staple machine that fires a staple every eight inches, which meets code. Then, the automated stapler shifts and fires staples at every four inches. That's twice as good as code. Then, for good measure, they shoot a staple in anywhere one is needed for added strength and to prevent squeaking. This program that I'm fixing to run is going to drill out all the holes, then run dados, then it's going to cut the doors and the drawers over the doors out. This is all cut out of one sheet and there's very little waste out of a 5 by 8 sheet. No table saw or any other saw or router is capable of cutting out cabinet fronts drawers and shelves with the precision of the Como machine that Franklin uses. Holes for pulls are drilled with computer-guided accuracy. Based on the position of these holes, the router cuts out other parts with the same precision. Perfection in the manufacture of cabinets is what Franklin strives for. This is our cabinet shop. You've already seen our Como machine. Let me show you what we can do by using it. This makes a drawer with all melamine surfaces. Every side is smooth. Liner paper is never needed. And let me show you how scratch resistant they are. After cabinet doors are cut out by the Como machine, they are trimmed with machine precision using a special jig. Then they are drilled and hidden hinges are installed. Any other way is likely to offer less exact fit and therefore less quality. Countertops are made with the same care as cabinets. Here is where holes are cut for heavy gauge metal insulated sinks to be installed. Franklin puts countertops together not just with glue and a nail strip, but by routing out material in the back of the counter to allow the use of draw bolts. It takes more time, but it adds more strength and higher quality. Exactly what Franklin is known for. This is a small cabinet front. We're gonna demonstrate how it goes together. 
you can see we put a rabbit all the way up and down both sides and we put the glue already on it so I'm going to lay it down. This is a side panel that goes on it. This is called a dado. We're going to attach the dados to this front and then we're going to install the shelves. Now we lay the cabinet down on his face, you'll see the advantage of having the dados there. These are the way the shelves fit down in the dado. One, two, three. Here's what the completed cabinet looks like. When Franklin Double Wides leave the factory, they've already had a preliminary setup. It's a quality control guarantee that they'll set up perfectly on site. But for a home to set up successfully, it must arrive in the same condition as it left the factory. To assure safe arrival, Franklin builds the best frame possible. It's built with 12-inch I-beams, and it's designed to carry the weight of whatever model is built on it. Franklin frames ride on new wheels and tires. They're not recycled, and the suspension is independent with as many as six axles. Independent suspension allows the home to pass over potholes or small obstructions without having the shock transmitted to the home. The design of the frame plays another part in the setup. It allows a foundation to be built under the home once it's on site. All of our homes are designed with the frames recessed all the way around the perimeter of the home. This is so that you can easily install a perimeter foundation or any other type of skirting material. As we can see here, we shorten the outriggers on all of our frames so that you have plenty of spacing here for your perimeter block or skirting, as noted before. Setup goes faster and easier for many reasons. Right at the start, setup crews will find a Franklin home easier to unwrap. The sheathing for the eaves lifts in place as the roof goes up. Support walls for the roofs fold down as the roof goes up, and the support walls as well as the knee walls have plates to allow easy joining and aligning. In the factory preliminary setup, only one man is required to join the support wall to the knee wall. Roof extensions flip up easily and have flip up bracing ready to install. As much as possible, all components have been pre cut and are ready to attach. All the while these operations are taking place, the setup crew has walk boards to use when they move around. That makes the job safer and faster. Hello, I'm Gwen Brown, and I have many different responsibilities here at Franklin Homes. One of the most important is working with our customer service department. Our service department receives many compliments on the way our homes are built because they're built to last. I guess that's because they're built and designed with a future in mind. Franklin Homes has a 10-year structural warranty. No other home manufacturer has one longer, most not as long. The so Franklin Home is designed and constructed to far outlast the warranty and with proper care and maintenance should last you a lifetime. There are several unique things about the service department's handling of service requests under the warranty. First, 
is that the dealer or homeowner is assigned to one service coordinator. If any subsequent service requests are made, the same coordinator who already has knowledge of the file is the one to follow through. All service coordinators are extremely knowledgeable because every one of them came to the department after years of working in the plant building the homes. Franklin also has a highly qualified design department. Whenever the service department gets multiple service requests with the same problem, the design department engineers a solution. An example is the floor under the water heater. A recent addition to HUD code specifies that a pan and drain be installed under the water heater in an effort to prevent damage to floors from a leaking water heater. This is another example of Franklin building better than code. Even prior to the new HUD code, Franklin had looked into the future and considered that water heaters will eventually leak. Franklin puts vinyl under the water heater with a drain that is large enough to eliminate gallons of water. By sealing carefully with silicon caulk, the floor of the water heater closet becomes a virtual drain pan. With the actual pan in place, it serves as a second line of defense against a leaking water heater and water damage to subflooring that could require tearing it out to replace and cost thousands of dollars. Another provision for the future concerns the size of the water heater closet. Someday the water heater will need service. Other manufacturers of homes more or less build the water heater in. To remove it, a wall must be torn out. Franklin provides room for service. The same is true of the furnace. Most water heaters that you purchase come with a warning on the water heater that states that if there's no water in the tank that the element shouldn't burn because it'll burn out. All water heaters that we use here at Franklin Homes come with a special element that won't burn out in case the water comes out of the tank. As you can see, our demonstration we have here, we've cut away the tank of the water heater and you can see this special element burning here now with no water in the tank. Future satisfaction with a Franklin home is assured by designing solutions to problems before they arise. In other manufactured homes, it's not uncommon for the homeowner to be frustrated when curtain rods and crown moldings come down. They've been fastened to drywall only, and that makes it very difficult to reattach them. Franklin Homes received no such complaint, because Franklin puts in wood backing to attach crown moldings and curtain rods. Curtain rods and crown moldings don't come down unless the homeowner wants them to. This new door closes and latches easily, but any foundation may settle over the years. And if it settles, this door may not close as easily as it does now. But we have thought ahead and we have provided an elongated striker plate so that if it does settle, then your door will close, still close and latch easily. This is a regular striker plate. I'm going to remove it now and you can see the difference in the, this one in the elongated striker plate. See how much more space there are in the elongated? This is a special door unit that we've built to demonstrate the advantages of an elongated striker plate. You'll notice we've carved out some material here from this jam so that you can see in and see the striker plate. And you'll also, when I close this door, you're going to be able to see the plunger in the center of the striker plate. See the plunger is right in the center of the striker plate. We're going to do a demonstration now to show you how when a foundation settles how that uh, this striker plate being elongated will keep the striker working within the operating range of the door. Watch it as it moves up and down. So this device will keep your door working for many years to come, even if you experience some settling of the foundation in later years. A Franklin home lasts long enough for a growing family, and that means someday the homeowner might want to add on or remodel. With that in mind, Franklin chose hardware and materials that are easily obtainable. Homeowners used to have great difficulty in making changes or repairs because they didn't know where to order materials and parts. Franklin, however, uses materials such as shingles, 
molding, siding, and door hardware that can be purchased at Lowe's or Home Depot. It's one more example of planning for the future. And anytime additional electrical wiring is needed, the homeowner will appreciate Franklin's electrical service panel. For a few dollars more, Franklin buys a larger panel with more slots for breakers than are actually needed to wire the home. Competitors use a smaller panel so that anytime additional wiring is needed, the homeowner has to buy a larger panel and pay more for having it installed. Franklin believes that a home that's built to last will someday get additions or remodeling, and they use a panel that allows for it to happen more easily. During this video, we've shown you a lot of items that Franklin Homes does to ensure homeowner satisfaction and longevity of your home. One more item I'd like to talk about is our shingle installation. We've got a dealership in Hattiesburg, Mississippi that came through Hurricane Katrina. They were called in to let us know that uh, all of our stock units, display units on their lot was in good shape. Uh, one thing they noted was that there were no shingles missing on the house that we have on display, but the other units that they have are. Uh, the reason for that is, is that we at Franklin Homes use a roofing nail versus what most other manufacturers use as a common staple. Here at Franklin Homes there are a lot of little things that we do. From the design work, to the materials we use, to the people in the factory that make our housing possible. We do these things for two reasons. One, consumer satisfaction, and two, longevity of your home. From my standpoint, I would like to say we appreciate the opportunity for your business and we would appreciate the opportunity to build you a home in the future. We've been building quality homes here for 37 years now and in order to do that you have to buy quality materials and as Peter said earlier do good design work then you couple all that with master craftsmen who can put the home together and roll it all into a package where it has a price that's affordable. We offer many amenities here at Franklin Homes but our ultimate amenity is quality and quality never costs as much as it saves at Franklin Homes.